Hey guys, welcome back to another collaboration with Mixed Media Girl, where we are doing a fluid painting series of black, white, plus one. Today we're doing green. You can call it light green or apple green. And I've decided to go for a cloud pour, <laughs> something I haven't done in a while, on a 12 by 12 canvas with a black base, as you can see. All right, so the base is to help me control my cloud. Now for the paints that I'm using, <laughs> there's no point, okay? There's four different brands here. I mixed like pretty much all different kinds of greens that I had to obtain this color. What's going to be interesting this is the cloud mix recipe in the description is this here i have some this is arteza pearl essence pearl paints first time i try them now i'm going to tell you this is not the best brand to use for the cloud pour But it's what I have. Today I'm working with what I have. The best brand for the Cloud Pour is Liquitex Basics, but I don't have any. And the first ever cloud pour that I did, the first ever video, which was in my Simple is Best series, I had done it with green and yellow, I think. And it was so damn pretty. And that video got super popular, you know? That's where it all started. And I had never done another cloud pour since then with that green. Like, with green at all. So, anywho... Here comes the cloud. Now the trick with the cloud pour is to be patient and stretch it out. Now I know the black won't be black in there. And the thing about this not being Liquitex, although there is some Liquitex in those four brands that I put in the in the green there, um, it's the way it dries. Like, if that's what's scary is how it's gonna dry. Because wet paint is always so pretty, but then it's when it dries. <laughs> It can change a lot when it dries. Yeah, so like the black and the green is gonna make a, a brownish color. I'm gonna go all in that corner right now. Boom. <gasps> the pearlescent is so pretty. And I think, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna think this through because I want there to be black. Loving the black.
I almost feel like leaving it like that, you guys. Because if I, because I like the balance of the three corners of black and all the pretty lines. We have some clouds. A lot of pearlescent here is stretched out and it's the corner is perfect. Will I be able? I'll start by going to wash my hands. Okay, it's decided I'm leaving it. So I'm just gonna, because I have a ton of black left, I'm just gonna like fill up the sides so they're covered well. This is just Artist Loft Flow Acrylic on its own. And this paint, this brand paint of paint when it dries, it's not very black, which kind of sucks. But as soon as you put the varnish on, like not matte varnish, if you use satin or gloss varnish, it really, really changes this black. It brings it right back. There. Loving the simplicity. All right, you guys, so this is about 30 minutes later, maybe. It changed a bit. Some clouds are added, popped up, whatever. But I don't think it's gonna change that much more because it wasn't really stretched out but I'm really liking it this way. I'm gonna go on the other side um, to try to get the pearlescent color for you. So like all the green that you see there is the pearlescent from Arteza and it's shiny thanks to my friend Moni who sent me a bunch of paint. The lines are very pretty too. I hope it dries like that. Dude, the black negative space. The overall look is really pretty. I love it. Now I just went back and I saw that my camera was super light at the beginning when I started pouring, so I'm um, sorry for that. Stay tuned for the dried result. Back with the final result and it's perfect. It dried so well and the first time using those pearlescent paints, wait, I'm going to show you. These here, they're pearl by Arteza, all pearl colors. Anywho, I'm happy about how it dried. Super happy. There is one crack right there. I'd say semi-deep. <laughs> it's perfect. It's like in the perfect area. Check out the reflection. And I did not varnish it yet. Changes color. All right, so go check out Mixed Meaty Girls version of black, white, and green, light green, apple green. And I hope you guys like this. Stay tuned for another color. I don't know what's up next. I really don't know. But uh, feel free to suggest in the comments colors you would like to see done with Black and White by me and Mixed Media Girl in our collabs. Bye, guys.